Hello everyone. Myself, Ms. Jyoti Kataria, Assistant Professor in KR Mangalam University. So today we will cover the topic of file handling in Python. In the previous classes, we did the recursion, we did the modules, but now today we'll do the file handling, which is also a very important part in Python programming. So now file handling basically the Python supports the file handling and it allows the user to handle the files in many different ways. The most important one are the read and the write. Read is to read a file and the write function is used to write inside the file. So now let us see that uh, working of the open function if we see then before performing any kind of the read or the write function we need to open the file first of all. So to open a file we need a open function that is the open function is required in that case. So the syntax will be over here that f is equal to open inside the braces you will enter you will enter file name and the mode mode in which mode you want to open the file you want to open in the write mode you want to open in the read mode so read mode is used when we want to read a file and the write mode is used when we have to write something inside a file so see there are the certain modes which are present inside the file handling the one is the r when we write the r then r represents then we want to read the content inside the file. We want to read a file, we want to read all the details which are mentioned inside the file. So open an existing file for a read operation. For the read mode when we are using then in that case a file must exist. If a file is existing then only you can use a read function then you can use a read mode and you can read the data which is present inside the file. When we are using the w, w is used for the write operation. So open an existing file for a write operation that is we are opening a file and now we want to add something into it, we want to write something into it. Then in that case we will open it inside in the write mode that is the w mode. So but in, the, in this case if the file already contains some sort of the data then that data will be replaced with the new data. Whichever the new data you are going to write now the previous data will be erased and the new data will be replaced over here. So if you are using the write mode then the previous data will be lost and the new data will be entered inside the file. Now there is one more mode which is the append. For the append mode we can use a. a also a specifies that it will open an existing file whichever the file we are having along with us. We already we are already having a file and we want to add some sort of the data inside it. We want to append it. So in that case we can open it with the a mode. So it will open an existing file for the append operation and it won't override the existing data that is the previous data will be stay over there and the new data will be added into it. Whatever the new data if you want to add some new files if you want to add some new content then that content can be added into it. So in that case we can use the append mode. Now R plus, R plus is a one more type of the mode in which we are using both things that is the read and write that is to read and write data inside the file. The previous data in the file will be again overwritten inside in this mode. Whatever the data was present in, in the previous case that data will be overwritten with the new data. Now if we are using the W plus this is one more mode over here. In that case also it is used to read and write both the operations but again it will override the existing data whatever the data we are having with us in the previous note that data will be overwritten. So with the new data whatever you want to enter you will simply you are replacing the previous data with the new data. Now A plus A plus is the append mode again over here now but this in the plus case what we are doing we are having the two modes over here that is the append and the along with that the read mode. So it will not overwrite the previous data. Append mode always allows you to add the new data irrespective of deleting the previous data. Without deleting the previous data it will simply add the new data inside it. So with the help of this mode you can do that part. So now let us see a few of the programs and how these processings go on. So if we are see everything whenever you are using we always use .csv file. So whichever the file you have saved just try to save it with the .csv and then you can use the file over here in the file handling. 
so now if i want to open a file and i want to read the data whatever what is the data written inside that file i want to read that particular data so in that case what i will do is that is f is equal to for example f is a variable which i have used i am saying is equal to open that is open what then over here we have to pass the path the particular path of your file we have to pass the path of your file see but there is one more thing whenever you are copying the path path from where you can copy you can copy the path with the help of the properties when you go inside the properties then you can see the path of your file so when once you copy the path over here don't forget to use the double slash in the path generally there is only single slash is written that is the format of the path written in your files or in the settings but when you are using that path over here that please use the double slash so that is the this is the path of my file and now this, this is the name of the file name at the end you can simply use the file name this is my file employee.csv that is the first path comma then we use the mode in which mode you want to open that particular file so i want to open this particular file in the r r that is the read mode i want to read a file so i am saying after this that print f dot read function i am calling a function that is the read function and i am saying just print that print whatever the data you have uh, read from the particular file just print that data on the screen so this is the complete data that is the employee number name designation designation and the salary so these are all the details of my employees which i have with me in that particular file so in a whole in a one way it simply fetch the data simply read the data from the file and it has shown me that data on my screen. Screen. So for that we use the read mode. Now, if I want to write something into my file, so in that case I will use the mode W, the write mode. So see, the write mode is used to write some data inside the file. If that file exists, the exists already, then it will simply overwrite the data. Or if the file does not exist, then it will create a new file in that case. might be that i have just simply want to write something inside the day, inside my file but i simply forgot to create a file i don't have the name of that particular file in my system then in that case it will create a new file and then it will start writing the data inside the file so over here like this i have simply said uh, said that f is equal to open again i will specify the path in double quotes comma then again in the double quotes i will mention the mode the mode of the file in which i want to perform the task so over here i want to write the data so i will simply say w then f dot write then in the write case i have simply given a string that this is a new file if that file is not created then it will simply uh, create a new file and add the data or if that file was already created then it will overwrite with the previous data it will delete the previous data and it will write the new data whichever i am entering right now so it's entering that right this is the new file one more line i have written that this file is created just now so these two lines i have created then after this i am using the close that after the write function once you write something inside the file then it is mandatory to close the file as well so for the close we need a function that is a close function so f dot close function i am using that is the simply close the file now i have done my task now i can close this function i can close this particular file so see this is a new employee one with the name of the employee one a new file is created and these are the two lines this is a new file this file is created just now i have not used any slash n so it has written in a one sequence if i have used slash n then it will be printed in the next line so like this i have created a new file now let's see what is the what is the meaning of the append mode so in the append mode as i've told you that we are adding the new data it is without deleting the previous data i am adding a new sort of data inside it i am just appending my file i am just updating my file some sort of so this a mode is used to append if the file exists the new content will be appended at the end of the file so whenever we are using the append mode then always the data will be added in the end of the file only fine if the file does not exist then a new file will be created in that case and then the data will be added inside the file so like this i am using that again i am opening a file f is equal to open i am giving a path 
comma then now i am giving the mode a so mode a is append mode then i am saying f dot right that right now the over here i have used slash n slash n that is that will become in the new line so this is a newly added file then again f dot close so when i am doing this see the employee one i have already created earlier the previous one as you can see over here in the right mode i have created the employee one dot txt so now over here again i am using the same file and i am using the append mode on that file so employee one it's in the employee one it was written this is a new file this file is created just now that was already the data inside my file now i am appending it so i am saying slash n this is a newly added file just add a line with the slash n so now in the next line it's added this is a newly added file so like this we are using the append mode now let us see how can we use the read function over here basically when we are reading a file then there are different ways basically three different ways with the help of which we can read the data either you want to read the whole either you want to read with a line or either you want to read all the lines so you have all these three functions available with you so for example i am saying first of all that is the read function so what does it do it will returns the read byte in the form of a string whatever the data is present inside the file it will just simply read them in the form of a string and without any uh, without any limitation it will simply read the whole file in a one go so you can use like this f dot read and n basically n is the bytes so basically it reads n bytes if n is not specified over there then it will read the whole file that is we are saying if i am using simply f dot read read function then it will read the whole file if i am saying f dot read and inside the over here irrespective of and i am passing some sort of value then it will read only that much number of the bytes over there when i am using the read line function this is another function so it will read a line of the file and returns it again in the form of the string so over here and basically up to which byte you want to read the line but again it will read only one line at a time so that is the limitation of the read line it will read only one line up irrespective of whatever the number you have passed in the end if there are the more numbers in the end for example if there are 10 it is on the place of n and whereas in your line there are only five bytes there is only one word hello so it will only print the word hello it will not print before after the hello it will simply say in my line there was only one word that was the hello in one line so i will print only hello word so it will read only one line over here so again the function is here that f dot read line and n over n you can pass the values so as i have highlighted this that it does not read more than one line it will read only one line irrespect of n value whatever the value you have given now read lines read lines will read the n number of the lines over here whichever whatever the number of the lines you want to read you can read them with the help of the read lines function so let us see a function in this program basically i have used all these three types read read line and the read lines function so now you can see what is the actual difference so see over here what i am using i have simply open a file this is my file and i am just opening with the write mode so first of all i am saying that i am writing some sort of data what is the data this is my list i have created a list l so inside the list there are three things this is delhi this is paris this is london so these are the three strings which i am passing over uh, uh, inside the list and now when i am saying that uh, f dot write hello so it what it, what it will do it will simply write the word hello fine now i am saying f dot write lines write lines it's calling l inside the function it's calling l l is what l is the list when i'm calling the list then inside this it will write all these three lines this is delhi this is paris this is london so when i'm saying f dot write lines then it will write these three lines inside my file after this again as i said that whenever you are using a write mode you need to close a file so i'm closing the file f dot close function now again i am opening one more file that is f1 now i am saying that open my file the previous file which i was uh, working on it earlier so i am opening the same file my file.txt but now i am using it with the r+ mode r+ mode is the read and 
write mode. So now over here I am saying that print, what it will print? The output of the read function is. The first line is simple. In the double quotes I have mentioned the output of the read function is. So it will directly print that. So when I am using this then it has simply, see over here in the output, the output of the read function is, it is simply written. Now print f1 dot read function f1 dot read function is what this is my f1 and now inside this f1 dot read function I am saying just read the function now over here see this is the complete way the when we are using the read function that read function will read all the data which is present inside the file I have not specified any n bytes I have not specified anything as I said see in the previous slide I said when you are using the read function then returns the read bytes in the form of a string if n is not specified then it will read the entire file so whatever is data present inside my file it will read the entire file so in the file i have written hello this is delhi this is paris this is london this was my whole file so it has read the whole file in one go now after this i've used a print function that simply print this data now i'm saying f1.seek0 so why does we use this seek function seek and inside the bracket I am passing the value 0. The passing of value 0 is that please bring the pointer again on the starting phrase. So it will just take your pointer to the starting point once again. That is it takes the file handle to the nth byte from the beginning. So this nth byte I am specifying is 0. That is the starting, the beginning of the file. Just take the counter in the beginning of the file. Now I am saying print output of the read line function. So it has saying the output of the read line function is, I am saying print f1 dot read line. Now I am saying read line and inside the function I am not passing any n value. So what it will do, it will simply read only one line over here. So that one line which is the first line, the first line was hello. So obviously it will print only one line that is hello. After this function again I am saying f1 dot seek 0 again put the pointer in the starting of the function in the starting of the program or the starting of the file then now let us see the difference between read and the read line function. So for example I am saying print f1 dot read 9 over here I am using the first function read function and inside that function I am passing a value 9 that is I am passing the length of the bytes and how many bytes we want to see in this case. So when I am saying read 9 and I, after this I am saying print function so see over here it has, print, it has printed hello then th now count this uh, string over here h e double l o 5 bytes in the hello then one space fine then th so 5 plus 1 space 6 and 2 over here th that means 8 bytes so obviously it will obviously uh, every time it will take minus 1 value so it has printed only the 8 bytes in a one go so that is hello and then th hello 5 1 for the space and then th another 2 bytes so it has printed 8 bytes over here now when I am using the same function, the same basically the read line function with the same value, with the same number of bytes, 9. But see when we are printing this then it is showing the output only hello. As I said that irrespect of the number of the bytes which you are mentioning in the read line function, read line will only read one single line in one go. So it has printed only one line that is the hello. It will not print anything else apart from that. Only one line. In my first line there was only hello. So it will print only hello over here. Now again seek 0 I am putting the counter in the beginning. Then again I am saying that is f1 dot read lines. When I am saying read lines then it means we can read n number of the lines over here. We are saying print this function. So it has printed everything hello. This is Delhi, this is Paris, this is London. So it has printed, it has basically read all the lines which was present inside my file in a sequence. So after at the end, I will again say f1.close, just close this particular file. And like this, the difference is clear. Read function, read line function and read lines function. In the same way, we have different functions in the write mode as well. When I am saying w, so w is used only for the writing purpose, that when we want to write some sort of the data. 
for an existing file the data is truncated and over written in the when we are using the write function the previous data will be removed the new data will be added over here and every time the handle is positioned at the, the counter will be positioned at the beginning of the file if a file is not created then the file will be created also by itself when we are using the write function now when we are using the write plus that is the write and read function both so in that case the file will be open for both the task and for an existing file the data again will be overwritten in this case and if the file is not created it will create the file and the counter will be positioned in the beginning of the file append function it will append whatever the data is there it will not delete the previous data but the counter will be positioned at the end of the file and the new data whatever you want to enter you can enter the data over there so now let us see the write function boards in the write function this is the format basically f dot write whatever the data you want to write you can use it over you can write it over here if we write to if we write multiple lines if we want to write the different different lines over here then we can use this syntax f dot write lines and inside l basically i have passed a list over here where my list was string 1 string 2 string 3 different different strings were there so in a one go i can enter the multiple lines in my file in the same way let us see one function one program where we are using the write function over the write mode so what i have done is that f is equal to open i am opening a file this is the path of my file i am opening with the write mode only write mode that is if the file is not created it will create a new file if the file was created earlier it will basically erase the previous data and overwrite it with the new data so over in the list i am passing basically there is a list which i have created this is delhi this is paris this is london and there is one more string which i am passing s is equal to that is the hello world now when i am writing simply a string i am saying f dot write and inside this function i am passing the value s so s was hello so inside this file inside the file f f the file was my file dot txt so inside this file f it will simply write the word hello when i am saying f dot write lines then in the in the basically parameters i am passing the word i am passing a list that is the l inside the list there are three different strings so it will write all these three strings inside my file then after this i am saying close this particular file now again i am opening this file in the read mode f1 the path passing the path and i am passing i am just writing it i am opening this file in the read mode then i am saying print f1 dot read just read function so read function what will what it will do it will read the whole file in a one go so when i am saying this then it has written, it basically read the whole file hello the first string which i have passed then the lines which i have written this is delhi this is paris this is london so all these three lines in a one go so it has read the whole file like this way now again let us see what is the use over here in the different modes when i am saying for example over here i am creating one more i am saying let us open one file f1 open this is my file in the right mode i am passing the path this is the list this is delhi this is paris again the same line then i'm saying f1 dot write lines write lines and i'm passing the list l over here so this list l contains these th three strings so it will simply write these three strings into my file i'm closing my file now i'm appending in my file over here so again i'm opening the file with the a that is the append mode in the append mode i am writing one single line so that's why i have used write only i have not used write lines i have used only write function over here so when i'm saying write then i have simply added only one word that is the today again i have closed the particular file now again i'm opening one file and i'm saying this is for the r r is for the read function so now i'm saying that file one dot read that is read whatever the data is inside my file so inside my file when i'm saying that print the data so it has given me the output this is delhi the previously these three which i have passed over here so it has printed all these three lines then in the append mode i said do not erase the previous data just simply add the new data so i have added one data that is one word today so it has added one that date a word at the end today over here 
like this so i have written the data now let us see when we do the override see over here now again i have open a file with the write mode what does the write mode do write mode will write the data but it will first of all erase the previous data and it will write the data the newly data whichever we are added so it will overwrite with the previous data so again i am saying that now write what simply one word that is tomorrow so now when i used again i am just calling the same file with the read mode and now when i'm saying just read my file now what is the data inside my file so it will show oh, there is only one word that is tomorrow the previous data has been erased it was replaced with only one word that is tomorrow the latest word with the latest data which we have entered so like this way we can use the read function read uh, basically the read function to read whole the data write function to write one line write lines when we want to add many lines over there so like this we can use it so thank you so much uh, in the next uh, in the next video we'll continue with the other task uh, the other part in the python programming thank you